Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so, so, so excited to be working with Cavalry once again to talk to y'all about some of their amazing products. Um, I have worked with them once in the past when they sent over one of their saddle pads that I absolutely loved. You all know I'm a pony clubber and I'm very picky about what goes on my horse's body and what goes in her body. And Cavalry has done an amazing job pleasing me in Penelope and just the way she moves and the way the tack and their products fit her. So I'm so excited they reached out again and asked to send me a pair or two pairs of their lovely, lovely boots. Um, I picked up the Pro K 3D Air Mesh 10 boots as well as the Pro K 3D Air Mesh dressage boots. Um, I have both of them right here and I love them both so, so, so much. In this video, I thought I would talk about why I love them so much, um, what makes them so great, how you can fit them to your horse, and just overall my experience with the company as a whole. As far as the boots go here, um, I have picked up both pairs in black and in a size medium. Um, they both come in white as well if you're interested, as well as some larger sizes, but I just went with medium. Um, and I really like the black. I think it's sleek and it'll just get less dirty. Both pairs of boots feature an elastic strap that goes over the front of your horse's leg that clips on the sides. Um, the tenon boots have a piece of mesh fabric underneath that is just going to allow the front of the horse's leg to be covered um, and have a little bit more protection if there isn't any interference. But again, these ones are tenon boots. These are open front jumping boots, so they are made so that if your horse were to knock a rail and show jumping or anything like that, that they would feel it and know to pick their legs up a little bit higher the next time. Both of these pairs of boots feature a strike pad that goes around the sides and the back side of their leg. Um, again, the strike pad is pretty hard and is just going to be great protection if there is any interference with overreaching um, or any brushing on the sides. Another great thing that I love about these boots is if y'all can tell, I can bend it pretty fairly easily on the sides here, but on the back where the tenon part is, I cannot bend it really at all. Um, this just goes to show that this back strike pad on the back is going to be super, super protective. Your horse's tendons are invaluable and it is so important to make sure they are protected at all times. Whether you are jumping, doing flat work, going in a trail ride, whatever. If your horse encounters any sort of tendon ligament injury, it honestly can be life-threatening um, or your horse could be in pain, unable to ride for months at a time. So, um... <laughs> It's very important to make sure you have proper leg wear for your horse, and these boots have done an amazing job protecting my horse's legs. Another great thing I love about these boots is the material. Um, these are made with this amazing, amazing mesh material. As y'all can see, there's mesh through there and all around the sides, um, as well as on the insides. This mesh is gonna be super, super breathable and just prevent your horse's legs from overheating. Um, a big point of using poultice and ice after you ride is to draw out heat because heat and heat on your t horse's tendons and ligaments and inside of their legs can cause a lot of swelling and other issues and just allowing your horse's legs to breathe and be as cool as possible um, can just help prevent any injuries like that. And last but not least, my favorite thing about these boots has got to be how well they have thought of the fit. Um, if you can see right here, there is an indent in the plastic. When your horse is jumping, moving, trotting, cantering, whatever, and their legs are bending, this little indent right here is going to prevent any pinching. Um, this is going to go right behind and right below your horse's knee. And of course, as your horse bends its knee, um, the, this indent here is going to prevent the plastic from getting pinched in your horse's knee. Um, and this pretty movable piece of fabric right here Again, it's just going to prevent any pinching and allow your horse as much range of motion and freedom as possible. Cavalry was also kind enough to send over a pair of their gel bit guards. These are valued at $20, and if y'all click the link down below, um, y'all can get a pair of these for free with your order. Um, I currently do not use bit guards, but I definitely have in the past, and I definitely will in the future. Um, the amazing thing about these is how flexible they are. If you can see how much I can stretch this and bend this, this is just gonna make them super, super easy to apply, take off, um, put on, and change between bits. Um, bit guards are used on a bit like an elevator, um, some sort of a gag, and sometimes loose rings, things like that. Things that have a ring that is gonna be swinging and moving um, in the mouthpiece. 
and that little gap where the ring is swiveling in the mouthpiece, your horse's lifts can get pinched. So these bit guards, and especially these ones, because they have this little um, piece that kind of sticks out of here, this is going to prevent your horse's lip from getting caught in that bit piece. So I'm very grateful for these. Thank you for sending these over. And again, if y'all want a free pair of these, click the link down below and we can get you some. As far as fit for these boots goes, um, they do have a size chart online if y'all would be interested in checking that out. But a couple other things to keep in mind when you're trying to fit these boots. When you put them on, it is important to make sure that these clips can fit snugly. You don't want it to be cutting off the circulation to your horse's leg and you don't want them to be loose. Um, ideally, you can fit them on the middle hole. This just gives you some freedom if you need to make one looser than the others or one a little bit tighter depending on how their leg thickness changes. And like I mentioned before, it is important to make sure that you can bend your horse's leg without this top piece pinching. Um, boots like this with some sort of a hard strike pad are especially important that they are fit properly because the harder plastic will or can cause more pinching if they are fitted improperly. So when you're just putting these on before you go ahead and ride on them, make sure your horse can bend its knee um, freely. So pick its leg up as if you were um, going to pick its hoof with the boot on and make sure that this plastic piece up here is not pinching. Um, and last but not least, your horse's fetlock should fit almost perfectly in this little bottom socket here. So when putting these on, put it up higher in your horse's leg and slide it down until it almost locks into place around your horse's fetlock. Um, the fetlock bulbs will rest nicely in this little pocket here and the rest should just fall into place from there. Thank you so, so, so much to Cavallari for sending these boots over. I absolutely love them. Um, and if you all want a pair for yourself or want to go check out some of their other products or their saddle pads, click the link down below. I am such a big fan of all that they do. Their mesh products are just to die for. Um, their boots and their saddle pads are on the level of Eco Gold and Magic Heap, things that four or five star riders are riding in every single day. And this company is definitely doing amazing things with their engineering and their quality. All of their products come in different shapes, sizes, and colors, so if there's anything specific that you're looking for, feel free to go check those out. They also offer polo wraps, um, fetlock boots, bell boots, other things like that, so feel free to go check them out. Give them a follow on Instagram. I am so, so, so grateful that they let me try some of their boots and these amazing bit guards. You are definitely spoiling my ponies, and I am so grateful. Anyways, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I love you all so much. I hope you all have an awesome, awesome day. Peace out. Bye.